beautiful start by Linda Carter. You saw that. She's quickly out in front. First lap, 25 yards. Karen Grassley holding together, and so for that matter is Adrian Barbeau. But Linda's going to complete the first lap. Here we are. This is your boy Ace here, and welcome to Retro Warehouse. And it is the very first edition of Battle of Network Stars here on Saturday, November the 13th, 1976. We have the very first episode of Battle of Network Stars. And boy, oh boy, was this an instant hit and an instant classic when this first came out. Seeing your favorite network stars face each other. And supreme competitions, supreme athletic competitions between ABC, CBS, and NBC all facing off against each other. It was a cool thing to really see that. And we ended up getting about 19 editions of the Battle of the Network Stars. In this video, we're going to focus in on Linda Carter, one of the first stars from this edition. And... Obviously, you guys know her as Wonder Woman, and she was on the Wonder Woman series that was on ABC at the time. Later moved to CBS. I believe the following season it moved to CBS. So if she was on here next year, she would have been representing Team CBS. So this season she was representing Team ABC, and the very first event was the swimming pool action, the swimming competition. It was the very first event on here, and it usually is the first event of most editions of Battle Network Stars. So let's hop right in this pool. I'm first going to let Howard Cosell take it away with the audio, and then I will come back to provide my commentary over the competition. So enjoy, guys. Linda Carter, the Wonder Woman. She, by the way, as she has to be in her role, a very good athlete. Let's look for the star. Beautiful start by Linda Carter. You saw that. She's quickly out in front. First lap, 25 yards. Karen Grassley holding together, and so for that matter is Adrian Barbeau. But Linda's going to complete the first lap first. And so Penny Marshall on the second lap goes in. Remember what Mark Spitz told you about her weird stroke. And quickly, what Mark called a handicap begins to show. NBC coming on with Ben Murphy in the lead. And then Mackenzie Phillips coming in second. Quickly, we go to the third lap. Still 25 yards. Melissa Sue Anderson in the middle. Still holding a lead for NBC. Pat Harrington for CBS. Moving in. Hal Linden trying to get back into things. But we go to the fourth lap now. And here it's going to be up to Bobby Hedges, Jelly Savalas, and Robert Conrad. Conrad in the middle is picking up a little bit of an edge on Savalas. Hedges has died. We go now to the final lap, the testing 50-yard challenge. It's Tim Matheson for NBC. It's Kevin Dobson, a superb athlete for CBS. And ABC very much out of things with Richard Hatch as a result of Hedges' failure. Now, can Matheson cling to that lead? You see him in the middle. And he is holding on against Kevin Dobson. Everyone thought Dobson would clinch it in the final lap. Has won. He has completed the quest with NBC victorious, CBS second, and ABC third. Watch out, watch out. Let me through, please. Let me talk to the winners. Hey, Tim, congratulations. You hardly swum last pair of laps. NBC, and you are a kind of understated Chevy Chase. <laughs> You're really like, hey, great, great event. I was. Unbelievable spirit among you people. Solid team effort there. Absolutely. Did True Mark Spitz start it out like this? <laughs> no, Timmy, not that way. Hey, talking about starts, let's look at Linda Carter's beautiful start again. And let's ask my friend Rona Barrett, the Hollywood queen, about Linda. Well, Howard, I can't tell you too much about Linda, except she is a Wonder Woman indeed. She's a native of Phoenix, Arizona, who studied for 10 years at the London School of Ballet. She landed the Wonder Woman role after losing a film role in uh, the fan club. But her audition so impressed producer Larry Gordon, he sent her over to Wonder Woman producer Doug Kramer. And it didn't take Doug long to see that that five foot eight and a quarter inch Linda would fill his bill to a T. 
She's a former Miss World USA. She's also a strict vegetarian. And she's about to embark on a new recording career after years of uh, quietly setting her thoughts to music for her own satisfaction and satisfying everyone she is with her new TV series, of course. It's not an easy life the Wonder Woman leads. This is where she spends her days, the Burbank Studios in Burbank, California. Look at her exercise in there. Her day begins every day at 5 a.m. She gets up, showers, 30 minutes to the studio, and then the job of keeping that body in the kind of shape it's in. It doesn't just stay that way without the kind of acrobatic endeavor that you're looking at right now. It's a long, long day from 6.30 to 8 every morning. There's makeup, wardrobe, having the hair done. She starts shooting at 8 in the morning. She is in virtually every scene. There is a break, one hour for lunch when they're on the set, only a half hour when they're on location. It looks a lot easier than it is. Yeah. Her workouts are arduous, and you wonder why she goes one, through them. Two, I love it because it's, it makes you get your adrenaline going and it gets you feeling right. I'm getting strong. Oh, my legs are starting to look like athletes. Though. And but it's, it's really for uh, the show and for me. Like, I don't have to do it. Come up. See the tech come on. If you don't turn, I'll hold you. One, two, three. I didn't even give it grab him. It was good. It took One more. Out there. Okay. Great. She doesn't get One, done shooting till two, 8 o'clock at night. Goes home exhausted. Has to begin at 5 the next morning. Seems endless. But she has had a meteoric rise with just one problem. With that body and that face, in Hollywood, there's a tendency to view her as perhaps just another pretty face with just another magnificent body. I asked her about this. It all goes back again, Howard, to attitude. If so, I can't do anything about what you or any, anyone else thinks or feels, what their impressions are. All I can do anything about is what I feel and the amount of work and effort I put into my work because it's a, it's a very, very difficult role. Probably the most difficult role I'll ever do because it's, it's got to be serious and real and believable and yet it's got to have fun and it's a fantasy and you've taken something that's existed for, for 40 years or 30 years from a piece of paper and brought it to life. I, the body thing, the body, I had nothing to do with the way I look. I have something to do with maintaining but God gave me what I have, or my parents, or whatever you want to call it, you know, soul or whatever. And uh, all I can do anything about is my own mind. I can't do anything about what anyone else thinks or says. Linda Carter on no. ABC finished third in the swimming, yet they're pouring it on. Pour it on. Pour it on. What We're a cat. Number three. If we've got We're a number, number three. <laughs> Linda, Linda. If we've won got the a problem, one. if we've Linda got a problem, it's lap. absence of leadership. <laughs> Kaplan is the team captain. None of us drowned, so we're real happy to be here. <laughs> Penny Marshall, you've got a point. Telly Savalas, a satisfied second placer, and at this point in time, NBC leads. CBS second, ABC third. So you guys saw it. Uh, Linda Carter uh, did a great job for her team. Uh, supremely athletic. And one of the great things that you will see throughout this competition, some of you guys, since I got a couple of videos up already, some of you guys have noted how athletic some of these uh, ladies are and how, you know, just how great that they look. And this was no different as... Uh, we, we saw just supreme swimming in this. 
And that's the thing about Battle Neck with Stars that I've always liked is that you get a realistic competition. Like, it, it's crazy, but you get a realistic competition. And so it's great to see, you know, this uh, take place and, you know, seeing all this uh, athletic talent and seeing them flourish. Uh, I think I think it's very, very good. So uh, let's get into this commentary here. And uh, I want to hit play here at the 11.25 mark. And let's hit play. So, as you guys see, Linda Carter is leading off for Team ABC. So, she was the first. This is a trivia question if anybody ever asks you for the Battle of the The first athlete for Team ABC. Who was it? Yes, it was Linda Carter. That's, a, that's a, You know, that's pretty good, right? So, now you see Penny Marshall from Laverne and Shirley. She gets into the pool next for ABC. As they show you who's getting in the pool right now. And Linda Carter did so well leading off that Penny Marshall just has to stay in there. But it looks like NBC took the lead here. And this was the difference, you know. We started to see some of the ground being, uh, you know, choked up here. As NBC is still in the lead right now. Now pay attention to Tim Matheson. When he gets in the pool, it's a wrap. So Conrad... Gets to hear Terry Savalas from CBS. He just got in the pool just now. And you can see nobody, Richard Hatch, wasn't able to really catch up. So it was a one-two race right here. And I believe that's Tim Matheson that just got in the pool for NBC. Because um, he finishes it off. Yeah, Tim Matheson against uh, Kevin Dobson, who's a really good athlete as well, for uh, CBS there. So, I mean, for, uh, yeah, for CBS there. So, you guys see Tim Matheson. He's pulling away here. And he is going to get the victory for his team. So, NBC, another trivia question for you guys. Who won the first ever uh, event on Battle Necker Stars? You could say NBC in the swimming event. So, Tim Matheson, also the first ever winner as he closed it out for his team. And... Linda Carter, what, what was crazy here was that Linda Carter had them off in a really good position. And then the rest of the team just kind of fell behind her. And uh, they were never able to recover. But CBS came in second here. Kevin Dobson had a really good swim to make sure ABC didn't make any type of comeback. And, uh, and held them off. So NBC won the first event. And uh, so crazy stuff there. As you guys see uh, the replay here with Linda Carter. And um, and it's, it's it's just it's just a crazy thing. So they also played a package. I, I made sure I played that package for you guys on how Linda Carter got casted and all that stuff. The training that she does to play Wonder Woman. I think it was a pretty good segment. And uh, but when when I, when I'm watching her swim, right, it was just fascinating to see how she led off and how good things were going for ABC at first. Um, then to kind of see where things went, like that was really crazy to see. Cause I would assume, you know, ABC was going to win with the type of lead that she gave them because I believe when they started this race, uh, they weren't even in a position to do, uh, to do anything. Cause I, be I believe McKenzie Phillips, was going to come in for uh, CBS. And that's what really turned things around was when Mackenzie Phillips got in there. And it really kind of made a difference. And then also uh, Ben Murphy got in the pool. And that whole second leg of the race, that made the difference. Like Penny Marshall, who's a pretty good athlete, but she lost to Ben Murphy. And then I believe Mackenzie Phillips caught up to her. And got second place. And that's how C and it was just like that the rest of the race. NBC in first, CBS in second, and ABC in third, man. So crazy how Linda Carter really was like a one man show for ABC. She probably should have been a closer. <laughs> she probably should have been a closer on the team. But uh ABC will have better days ahead of them as they were better in other events. Especially in the other editions of Battle Network Stars. ABC usually always carried a pretty good team. 
uh, especially Christy McNichols and stuff like that. I have actually have Christy McNichols runs on here. So definitely check those out, guys. But give me your thoughts, man, on this, and uh, I'll come back to wrap this up. So, guys, if you want to want to support the channel, this is one of the easiest ways that you can pay. Um, I know for a lot of people, some people don't have the cash app. They don't have PayPal. They don't have um, maybe they don't have uh, they don't want to pay through Google as well. This is one of the best ways that you could pay. All you need is a credit card or debit card. You can pay on Buy Me a Coffee. This is a site where you can pay anybody and buy them a coffee. And basically how it works is you so you go to the page. This is our page here. Uh, you can see our post here and everything like that. And we will start posting uh, videos and stuff like that when you come over to this page. So, but uh, if you want to buy somebody a coffee, you have these options here. So there's some default options here. So the first option is five bucks. So th this is the uh, lowest that you can pay on buy me a coffee. So you can pay somebody. Uh, so if you hit three, it's going to be 15. If you hit five, it's going to be 25. Now you can hit any number in here. So if you hit two, it's going to be 10. If you hit four, it's going to be 20. So any number in here, six is going to be 30. It is, it's in multiples of five. So uh, every number you hit is going to be every five numbers. So if you hit 10, it's going to be 50. So you just 10 times five is 50. So just times it by the number you want to put in by five. And that'll give you what you'll put in. So if you want to um, pay the channel 50, you'll put in 10 here. If you want to pay 100, uh, it'll be 20 times 5, so you'll put in 20 here. So like I said, it's in multiples of 5. 15 times 3 is 75, so you want to pay 75. That's how you would do it. So the lowest is 5, but you just you enter the number in, and that's how you'll pay uh, going forward to buy me a coffee. So if this is the best way for you guys to want to show your appreciation and you don't have the cash app, you don't want to pay through Google. You don't want to pay through. I don't have a PayPal, but like I know other people have that. You can go through here. Thank you, guys. Hopefully, I will see your guys' donation, and I will shout you out. Okay, guys. So uh, with that event as well, NBC gained 100 points, CBS 75, ABC 50 points. And spoiler, spoiler here. ABC ended up winning the first event. They came all the way back. They won the tug of war. Um, and Linda Carter was in that. So at a later date, I'm going to show that that video of how Linda Carter helped her team win the tug of war. So hopefully you guys uh, definitely check that out. Uh, but this was a great first episode. Uh, we also had people like uh, uh, Adrian Barbeau, uh, Kenzie Phillips on here. Uh, you saw the very young Tim Matheson. And Farrah Fawcett was also in this episode. She was do, uh, participating in the golf event. So I, I'll definitely show you the golf event as well. So uh, just keep it locked on here. Make sure you guys subscribe. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Also, make sure you guys tune in. I'm actually going to do a Wonder Woman, the first uh, of many tribute videos so i'm going to do one with some uh random wonder woman clips of linda carter so definitely make sure you guys tune in for that uh here on retro warehouse thank you for watching hey retro warehouse <laughs>